Hello and a very warm welcome. The Premier League is a week away from starting, so what better way on Friday to bring out my Premier League table predictions. In a week's time we will see Brentford v Arsenal and the Premier League season will be up her way. So I'm going to run down my table, I'm going to do it fair, unbiased and yeah, we're going to predict give my predictions for this Premier League season. 21-22 season, I can't wait, really excited and it's only a week away from starting. So all 20 teams covered and yeah, I try to do this unbiased. So first place, Manchester City. I take no great pleasure in saying that, but their squad depth is a joke. Um, Yeah, and massive links as I record this, we've still not got official about Grealish, Kane, but it's looking like them two could end up at City, which is just criminal, really. It's a joke. Uh, Manchester City kind of ruining the competitive aspect because if they sign them two, they've got squad depth. I mean, Walker, Cancelo, like it's just all over. Laporte, Ake. Diaz, it's just ridiculous. Um, Stones, and then you've got De Bruyne, Foden, Grealish, Silva, Mares. It's like Sterling. It, it, it's ridiculous. So yeah, first place will be Manchester City. Second, Manchester United. Now, I'm doing this unbiased. I believe we've made two great signings. As I record this, we've signed Sancho. Varane is not official yet by the club, but it's basically a done deal. Um, Yeah, I would like to see us sign a CDM, and then I believe we can fight for the league. Um, And we've got massive links to Kieran Trippier. So as I'm recording this, yeah, we've got Jadon Sancho through the door. A fantastic signing. Marcus Rashford will have shoulder surgery. Um... Yeah, so he's not going to feature at the start of the season. But yeah, steady progress by Manchester United. Have to win a trophy this season. Third will be Liverpool. Now they addressed and signed a centre-back. They needed to do so. And that is a great signing. But my biggest worry about Liverpool is if they get a big injury like last season, they're going to crumble again. They lose the likes of Mane, Salah. Uh, You've got Diego Jota, who was sensational last season. It's going to be interesting to see what Liverpool can do. Fourth, Chelsea. Tuchel came in. He did an amazing job uh, winning the Champions League. But yeah, they've been a bit quiet in the market. Massive links to Haaland, Lukaku. Yeah, it's been a pretty uneventful window for Chelsea. Like, you got to fit these teams in order. I have quite a few Chelsea fans on the channel. But yeah, you got to put Chelsea somewhere, so there we have it. Fifth, Leicester City. Now, they've got a phenomenal squad, phenomenal manager, but as usual with Leicester, they bottle top four. They're always in the top four, top four, top four. Comes down to the last game, last few games, they crumble. So yeah, they're a bit of bottlers. But they're all round team, Schmeichel, Pereira, Siayunchu, Evans, Ndidi, T. Elements, Madison, just littered with class. Six, Tottenham Hotspur. Now, 100% they're going to lose Harry Kane by the looks of it. Harry Kane's not turned up to training. And Nuno Espirito Santo comes in. It's going to be interesting to see what he can do. If he loses his best player, Spurs need to go out and address a striker. Harry Kane's irreplaceable, so yeah, I believe Tottenham could struggle. Seventh, West Ham. Now, West Ham had a fantastic season last season, and I don't see why that won't continue. Moyes has done an amazing job. He looked like a Finnish manager, and he's turned round his managerial career again. Um, And they have a solid team to West Ham. Eighth, Arsenal. 
the irrelevant club since 2004 are a mid-table club. Anytime I get to shred Arsenal, I will do so. And they've been irrelevant since 2004. Manchester United are signing Raphael Varane for 41 to 42 million. They've gone out and spent 50 million on a Brighton centre back in Ben White. Forget Arsenal, they'll be around 8th, 9th. And how they've not sacked the male model, Mikel Arteta, is unbelievable. Yeah, forget Arsenal. Ninth, Everton. Now, Everton are a club that underachieve, in my opinion. They've got a great squad. Benitez has come in, but for me, Rafael Benitez is a bit defensive. So, yeah, I see Everton finishing ninth. They've got one of... I really like Richarlison. Um, yeah, they've got a good squad, Everton. They underachieve, in my opinion, with the squad they have. Tenth, and... Manchester United play Leeds, first game of the season, Leeds United. Play probably the most entertaining football out of anyone. Bielsa, great manager. Leeds were comfortable last season. I expect them to be comfortable again because Bielsa won't take no slacking. 11th, Aston Villa. Now, the possibility is big that they're going to lose their talisman, Jack Grealish, but I mean, it should still be quality, um, really. Um, they've got a good squad. Uh, they've just signed that Leon Bailey as well. They need to use Jack Grealish's money, Barkley, etc. Like, they've got some... Barkley was on loan, wasn't he? They should probably go out and buy him. Um, always linked to Tammy Abraham as well. So, yeah. 12, Crystal Palace. Patrick Vieira comes in as the new manager. Interesting and exciting times ahead for Crystal Palace. And Crystal Palace are definitely one of those teams who thrive off the fans. And the fans will be back this season. 13th, Wolves. Now, I think Wolves could struggle. Going to be interesting. Raul Jimenez got that massive injury last season. Is he going to be back to his best? And obviously, they've lost their manager, Nuno who went to Tottenham. 14, Southampton. A solid Premier League club, but a selling club. Ward Prowse is an amazing player. But yeah, they'll be in, they'll stay up Southampton. Harsen Hootel, quite a good manager. 15, Burnley. No budget, stay in the Premier League, rinse, repeat. That is Burnley. Um, Yeah, Daesh, does an amazing job, to be honest. 16th, Brentford. Now, I've got to put these teams, and I think Brentford might surprise. I don't know too much about Brentford. Obviously, I know Ivan Tony plays for them, but it's unknown, it's exciting. Maybe Brentford can surprise. So I'm going to say they stay up. 17th, Brighton. I'm not a fan of this football club. I think the way they treated Chris Hewton was disgraceful. And they've just lost Ben White. Honestly, I would like to see Brighton go down. But I've got them 17th. 18th. Now this one's painful. Newcastle United. Newcastle United are my second favourite team. But the club is toxic. The owner, the manager, the fan base. It it is toxic. They only just stayed up last season. Steve Bruce still in charge. Negative football. Five at the back. Takeover, is it going to happen? It's just a mess at Newcastle. And I don't want Newcastle to go down, but it's, it's shocking. And Newcastle are another one who are underachieving massively. They should be in the top 10. Stadium, fan base, big, big football club. Yet they're tossing it around with the likes of Burnley and Brighton. 19th, Watford. 100% Watford will go down as they change their manager more than I change my underwear. As soon as they get a bad result, they'll sack this manager. And it's just role reversal. It cost them last time, it'll cost them again. 20th and last, Norwich. Yo-yo club, up and down. 
Daniel Farke will be there. Well, uh, Dilly is so happy with me, and uh, I got uh, uh, the Canaries relegated, but uh, I come straight back up, and now Delia has given me a big contract. Here. I may comb my hair before the game. I believe they play Liverpool first match, so, yeah. So there we have it. There's my Premier League table predictions. Uh, we'll run down quickly. First, Manchester City. Second, Manchester United. Third, Liverpool. Fourth, Chelsea. Leicester. Spurs. West Ham. Arsenal. Everton. Leeds. Villa. Palace. Wolves. Southampton. Burnley. Brentford. Brighton. Newcastle. Watford. Norwich. So my top four is City, United, Liverpool, Chelsea. My relegation is Newcastle, Watford, and Norwich. Comment down below your thoughts. Cannot wait for the season to start in a week's time on Friday. And yeah, can't wait to get back into the previews, match reactions. Mr. Premier League. I mean, we've had the Euros, but let's be real. Premier League is where it's at. Thanks for watching. Comment down below your predictions. Adios.